<sighs> there goes the first can of soda. <laughs> hey guys, uh, we are back with more of this very, 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 very lovely game. Mm, I need a new spot for a fucking camera. Um. Okay, so what key do I have? Wine cellar key. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. Oh shit. How the fuck do I use the key? to unlock the door. Oh, there we go. Stamina, you just be chill now. Or stamina, wow. Oh, fuck. It does, it wasn't done. The man said, the men said, the tomb had been revealed. Oh shit. Oh yeah, cause this looks better than where we were just fucking at. A major design guideline for us was to give each level a unique theme. Something that all puzzles, events, and the general atmosphere was built upon. This makes each level a little piece of the story and theme at large and also gives them focus so the player is not distracted with too much information. The theme in this level is the strange creatures that lurk in the castle. The player first spots them momentarily in archives, so now is the perfect place to build some fear. There is never any real threat in this level, but it's much darker than any before, and there's a constant pressure with boards creaking in the light. Fuck Flashbacks me. also give hints of where strange creatures come from, <laughs> making all of them focus on Christ. the level's central theme. <laughs> oh, I'm actually crying right now, but you can't see because of the fucking lights. <laughs> there ain't really real threat in this level, but it is a lot more bullshit. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us with a wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> I just heard something. Okay. Hello, I'm Dian Nilsson, co-founder of Frictional Games. I work mainly with the sound, gameplay and event scripting in Amnesia. For my commentary in this game, I'll jump back and forth between the topics of sound, custom creation, and even talk about making this commentary. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Ow! Jesus Christ! What the fuck was that? Hold on. Oh shit, come on, stamina. Or, why do I keep fucking saying stamina? Do I fucking hide or what? I mean, I don't see anything, so that's good, right? I'm fucking trapped in here, that's not good. Ugh, fuck you, chair. This is all your fault. Oh shit. Come on, move it. 
Move it, move it, move <laughs> Why am I so anxious to get the fuck out of Dodge? <laughs> Hang on. Let me check the rest of this place for anything. <laughs> yes. Well, and just take care of that shaking hand business. Shit, I just want to go like fuck you and just be anything senseless that comes in here. Um, but I know it'll be my ass. Not that demon's ass. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit. Come on. The basic structure of the earlier levels in the game has been built by me. I have not created the models or anything like that, but I have built the levels with the graphics from the artists using our level editor. This was the very reason for us to create the level editor, as it would allow for the whole team to work on levels, building them from scratch if so needed. For our previous Penumbra games, you could perhaps tweak a level a little bit, but making a whole level was the job for an artist and no one else. In the early days of the Amnesia project, the artists had their hands full with making graphics, and so I was the one building the levels. Looking at the levels now, a lot of things have changed and improved, but the base is still there. Showing that the idea to create the level editor was a sound one, one of the few oh, things, shit. in fact, with the Amnesia project that has not been scrapped, reworked, or modified heavily. What's happening? Oh, feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh! My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except it. we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Well, that's fucking lovely. So, can we go home now? <laughs> can we go fucking home now? Hang on, guys. <sighs> uh. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Wait. If you guys just want to read the note, my face is in the way. Mm. Wait, okay, let me just... Okay, something tells me I need to do that. Okay, let me just... So, I don't mean to be a douche, but... I did watch this part before. I don't know if it's this part... ...in particular. Yep. Shit. That so would kill me if something was there. Um. No, damn it, just stand in the light. No, fucking run. Oh, shit.
extra damage, I need a little bit of fucking light. So he said the character is in a real danger. At least not yet, so I guess that's good to know, right? Oh yeah, because that looks like something that's going to fucking kill us. Green blood now. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Mm. God damn it, now I'm just wasting my fucking oil. Let's get the fuck out of here. Before I give, before I have a heart attack. Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four. Wait, I can't leave yet, can I? No, there's still one more door. Okay. God, we've been kind of short on tinder boxes lately. Speaking of which, that's not a tinder box. I thought that was a fucking tinder box. I was about to laugh if we were talking about tinder boxes and then I found a tinder box. Which way I fucking come from? Okay, I came from that way, I think. Tinder box. Oh, yep, yeah, before we go in there, I'm gonna grab this. whatever the fuck this is. Run! Fuck me! And time's up, guys. Fuck. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, I wanna go home now. Good thing this fucking video's over, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, peace out, guys. <sighs> peace out.